everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today's video is all about comfortable knit flats. <laughs> I actually was debating comparing the Rothy's and the Allbirds and then the Rothy's and the Everlane, but I thought I'd just put them all together. So if you're new here, welcome. My name is Jessica, also known as Chic Professor on Instagram, and I make videos on luxury goods, sustainable fashion, and workwear. I am a Rothy's lover. I have done reviews of Rothy's in the past, so I will link some of those down below. This is the first time I have reviewed the Everlane or the Allbirds. I am not going to be keeping one of them, so I will not be able to do a full review in the, in the future, but I thought that the comparison would be helpful. So we are talking about Rothy's points. I have also had Rothy's loafers and Rothy's flats in the past. I may bring those up, but I'm specifically going to be comparing the points. I'm comparing those to the Allbirds Tree Breezers flat and the Everlane 40 hour flat. So that is the comparison that's happening. I am choosing my pink Rothy's. I do have these points in three different colors and probably will get another one in the future. But um, I thought that the pink would show up a little bit better on camera than the black. I do wear my black the most often though. I am gonna be comparing all three of these for a number of different categories. So we're gonna talk about price, we're gonna talk about durability, wearability and washability, comfort, um, the different materials used, sustainability, all that sort of thing. I may consider some other things in the future if I think about them. I do wear a five and a half or six and I will be showing you the sizes and talking about that as well and I will be showing some mod shots. Let's go ahead and get started. So first things up is price. The cheapest shoes are the Allbirds Breezers. These are $95. The Everlane 40 hour knit flats are 99, I believe, sometimes 95, but they're basically about $100. They're pretty close in price with the Allbirds. The leather version may be a different price than the re-knit version. I'm not sure about that, but I think it's pretty similarly priced. And the most expensive of these are the Rothy's. These are $145 for the points, but if you get the round toe, those are $125, so they're a little bit closer to the other ones, but definitely the most expensive of the bunch. Keep that in mind with the comparison. So next up, we'll talk about sustainability. All three of these are sustainably made. The tree breezers are probably the most sustainable of the three, just because Allbirds is a very sustainable company. They do great research, they have great information, and they have been super sustainable from the start with every material that they choose. So although all three of these are made from sustainable materials, this is a little bit more carefully considered, and I would say a more sustainable option in terms of materials than the other ones. So these win for sustainability. Next best for sustainability are probably the Rothy's, though Everlane and Rothy's are both using a recycled knit. Um, the Rothy's have been very sustainable from the start. Everlane has always talked about sustainability, but they talk more about being transparent and there's been some questions about their actual sustainability. So I would say these fall a little bit shorter. Plus, because they have leather soles, some would consider that to be a less sustainable option than the Rothy's. Next thing I want to address is breathability. I know that there's been questions in the past about Rothy's having an odor or making your feet sweat. I've never had a problem with these making my feet sweat. I, some people seem to, I guess, but that really hasn't been an issue for me. I haven't worn the other two enough to really talk about that. I will say that these are quite breathable in terms of the knit design of them. I can kind of see through them just slightly, which makes me just think that they're going to be a little bit more breathable. But because they have the leather inside, I think if I wore them a ton, that the especially the back part, the like moleskin, would start to rub against me a little bit. And the leather bottom leather is only so breathable, right? So I would say these would probably be the least breathable, though I will say this knit is breathable, but because it has a, a wool insert, it's gonna be warm and comfortable, but the sole is gonna be less breathable than the other ones. In terms of the knit, actually, let's compare this a little bit more closely. I would say that the most attractive knit of the three would be the Rothy's. Um, very closely followed, maybe even tied with the Everlane. The small kind of more tightly woven knit I think is more attractive, especially from a distance. You can't see that it's a knit shoe. 
the Allbirds are by far the most obvious. Because of the patterning, the Everlane are a little bit more obvious than the Rothy's. I would say that the Everlane patterning is nice looking, but I don't think it's as attractive on the foot, which we'll get to in a little bit. So I would say that the Rothy's are best in terms of the aesthetic of the knit. In terms of the aesthetic of the shoes in general, I would say also, again, same thing, Rothy's are going to place number one for me in that. I think that they're beautiful on the foot with this V-shaped vamp. I think that it's very attractive looking. They're a little bit minimal. They're really, really pretty on the foot. The Everlanes are okay. I find that this shape of the vamp is not as attractive. I also don't love the color, so that's partially um, an issue for me. I think in a darker color, it might be nicer but I just don't ever think that's gonna look as nice. One aspect of these that is nicer looking than the Rothy's is the heel. I think that the heel shape and height is more attractive than this kind of just full slab. I do like the little step of the heel a little bit more. Then on the same end, I would say that the little pull tabs in the back are less attractive on the back of your feet. So even though the bottom of your feet look nicer, the back don't necessarily look nicer. And then third place in terms of looks goes to the Allbirds. They make your foot look a little bit wider. I am, of course, comparing two pointed shoes versus a round toe, and I always think a pointed toe looks more chic. So if I was comparing the Rothy's rounds, these would be a little bit closer. But this big knit design right here uh, just is not as attractive as the other ones. And even in the Rothy's round toe case, the the V vamp of that and the lack of this kind of border do make the Rothy's rounds more attractive for sure. So yeah, these ones definitely are least nice looking in my opinion compared to the other two. So now let's get to comfort. I personally think these are very comfortable. The wool is really nice. I am planning on keeping these, so spoiler alert, I'm planning on keeping these and using them as slippers around the house. They're super comfortable, they'll stay on your feet, and they'll be a little bit warmer than some of the other shoes. So that is the use of these for me. I don't think if I wore them around all day, I would love the comfort more than the Rothy's. I personally find the Rothy's very, very comfortable. I do often add an insert into mine, and when I do that, I get a little bit more arch support. None of these have arch support, so that part is not really even considered. So adding the arch support helps, but really adding the heel helps a little bit to me. Some people say that the thing that is uncomfortable about the Rothy's is that this will dig into the back of your ankle. That's the case for pretty much all flats, I think. However, for me, I've never had a problem with Rothy's. Because I add that insert, I lift my ankle up slightly, and to me that makes this hit at a better spot and is so much more comfortable. So if you're debating between sizing, which we'll talk about a little bit, size up a half size to add in an insert and that will help not only for arch support, but also this back of the heel. So I've never had any problem with comfort. I think that these are fine comfortable. I, I really don't have an issue with them in terms of comfort, but I do think over time the leather sole would be less comfortable. And I, and I as I talked about a second ago, the moleskin in the back I think would rub a little bit more. I also sometimes find that if I'm bending my foot a lot, these kind of tabs can irritate my Achilles. So yeah, these, these are the least comfortable of the three. Next, let's talk about the wearability and washability. So I can't necessarily talk about durability. I have worn and washed my Rothy's many, many times. They still look great. So I can talk about that in terms of them. The other two, I really don't know how durable they would be. A leather sole can be quite durable. It's a leather insole and it's a rubber bottom, a rubber outsole. So I think that that would be quite durable. I, I can imagine that these would last a long time. My biggest issue with these is they're not washable. So compared with the other ones that are washable, that is a huge, huge bonus to me, especially for flats. So these are only a spot clean. To me, that puts them by far at the bottom of the list. The other two can be washed. You just take the inserts out and wash them separately. So to me, that is makes these both a total winner in terms of wearability. These to me edge out in wearability because I find that they work for more occasions. They're a little bit nicer looking so that they can be a little bit more dressed up, whereas these are very, very casual. And then in terms of materials, we talked a little bit about this when we talked about sustainability. 
They are all a knitted top. The tree breezers are going to be made with slightly better material and I'm just gonna link the page down below that talks about everything that they are made out of because they, are, they explain that much better than I could. Whereas the other two are made out of recycled water bottles. That is where the re-knit comes from. They have rubber soles, all three of them. So they've got that. The Rothy's are just a knitted insert. The tree breezers are a woolen insert. And then there are no inserts for the Everlane flats. They just have the leather insole, which does not come out. So the other two are a little bit easier to put in an insert because you can just take out the insert that comes with them. The Everlanes also have the hardest sole because they are leather. So there's really no give to them. And I find that to be a little less comfortable than the other two. I wouldn't say that the Rothy's inserts are anything to write home about. They're really thin and just kind of floppy. There's really nothing exciting about them, but they're really easy to remove and they're easy to wash. So that is a helpful thing. So last up, let's talk about sizing. I took a six in the tree bruisers. I could have done a five and a half, but I wanted a little bit more room around my toes. I could have even probably done a six and a half. I would say these can vary a little bit in size and your foot would still be fine in them, but I would say they're true to size or size up. If you're between sizes, size up a uh, half size. The Everlanes are in a five and a half, and honestly, I could have potentially even done smaller, which is amazing. They run a little larger than true to size. Some people will say go true to size. Some people will say go down half a size. I do agree with that. Again, if you're between sizes, definitely size down. Whereas a lot of Everlane shoes you need to size up for, but not these. These are definitely more true to size or size down a half size. Rothy's are the worst in terms of sizing. They just are. They, I, I personally go up a full size. So from a five and a half to a six and a half, again, I am between a five and a half and six, but I go up to a six and a half. And honestly, I can even wear a seven in these. If you're going to add an insert, absolutely size up. Some people will just go up half a size. Some people will go up a full size. Again, if you're going to add that insert, I would take that step up to a full size. They don't shrink in the wash, so I haven't had any issue with that sort of thing. Um, but none of these really stretch out. I, potentially the Everlane would stretch out slightly, but I imagine that all of them will just kind of collapse back to shape. So I, I wouldn't be worried about that too much in terms of sizing, um, but they will give slightly. So these ones go down, Rothy's go up, <laughs> and then Allbirds more true to size. I think that hits all of the categories. For me, you probably have already guessed, Rothy's are by far my winner. I love them, I love the points. I'm excited to try the Merino wool, which actually these ones have a little bit of wool kind of woven into them, I believe. And so they might actually be a closer feeling to this one, which is just a little less stretchy feeling than the other two. Um, all very comfortable, so I have no issue with the knits, but I am curious to try the Merino Rothy's in the future. I'm definitely planning on doing that. As soon as they come back in the color I want in my size, they will be mine. Birds are very comfortable, I have no issue with that. These, again, are gonna be just kind of slippers for me. They're great for that, but the Everlanes I'm going to return. They're nice, I just don't love the color, and I just don't find that I would ever choose these over my Rothy's. I don't think they're much nicer looking, at, if at all. And I just, the washability of the Rothy's just by far edges it out for me. So even though they're more expensive, I do think they are worth it compared with these. And then the Allbirds are really great in terms of sustainability. They're really great in terms of comfort, but I just don't think they're as attractive looking and which makes it, which makes them harder to wear for different occasions. I hope that you find that helpful. If you have any questions about any of these three shoes, please let me know. I will try to answer any questions about the Everlane from memory, but I am going to be either selling or returning these. I might start with selling um, just to see if there's somebody else who really wants to get those secondhand, but otherwise I will be returning them. The Allbirds I will be keeping so I can address that. My husband also has some Allbirds. He's got at least two different kinds. So if you have questions about the men's ones, I might be able to answer those as well, or even the women's other designs, the more of the sneaker, and loafer kind of designs. I should be able to answer those based on his. Thank you all again for watching. I hope you have a wonderful day and I will see you in a future video.